Alright guys, welcome back to part two of the random Super Metroid run, item run. And so, we are now in the Brimstar Gauntlets. Uh, our, having collected Super Missile, Screw Attack, Power Bombs, and uh, Speed Booster, and also just recently the various suits. We are now making our way over to the Eticoons, so that we can see what they're hiding for me. Don't care. Come on, Samus, you can wall jump. It's not hard. And you have... Oh. Alright. I will accept. Give me charge beam. And actually, since I have power bombs, I can check a couple places for charge beam. Knowing my luck, it's going to be behind Gold Torizo, like one of the random runs that I did uh, off camera. It was literally the last item that I got in that particular game. And down here. Nope, or we can get Charge Beam right now and just break the game. I will accept. Actually, because I have Speed Booster, I can check back here. Come on. Come on, Samus. There we go. Short charge of science spark. Nope, nope, wrong way. Horizontal Shine Sparks are fine, because the game makes them super easy to do. Come on, Samus. never have too many supers. Power bombs, yes. You only need like a grand total of maybe 20 to beat the game, and not even that many. If I don't get a single missile, I will be fine with that. through there just yet because I need wave beam. Well, I can try to glitch the gate, but it won't end well. Oh wait, I have power bombs. I can skip sports bomb. So the trick is here, I believe. No, here. There we go. 
basically what you do is you stand on that uh, on top of that plant, you fire, jump and fire a super missile, and then move ever so slightly forward so that you can hear the uh, the missile explode against the super missile. Hulk. Like Sports Bomb did have bombs after all. Now, an amusing, well, kind of amusing glitch is that if you go to uh, Torizo's room, or to the, to the bomb Torizo, uh, without bombs, and bombs are not there, the room will not lock and Torizo will not activate. Uh, it, it's actually hard-coded into the game that you have to have bombs to activate the Torizo boss. But if you pick up the item and then exit the room, uh, Torizo will never activate. So you never actually, have, you'll never actually have to fight him. And if you ever go back to the room, Torizo will be gone. So it's like you never have to deal with it again. But we're going to actually have to go there and fight him now because I have bombs. Unfortunate. Come on, Samus, jump. I know you don't have high jump yet, but... Hmm. I don't think I can actually get up there. Well, I can get bomb jump. Hi, giant side hoppers, meets screw attack. It doesn't like you. And we have one. Cool, more supers. I will accept. Charge up a shine spark. There we go. What? <laughs> okay. I know Samus can pick up weapons while shine sparking. There we go. And at long last, I finally pick up a missile. See what's back here. More supers. I will accept this awesome arsenal of broken and more missiles. I will accept this slightly less broken arsenal of awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
back up to or to criteria we go. So we will go ahead and grab the criteria escape shaft or the Turian escape shaft item, as well as kill bomb Terizo. because we have super missiles. So bomb Terizo is going to take all of two hits. Actually, I wonder how many charged plasma shots it takes to kill bomb Terizo. Let's find out. That's a super missile, like it normally is. Interesting. Oh, this is gonna be painful. No, not that. Not as painful as I was expecting it to be. Alright. Now that that's settled. Let's go kill us a Terizo. Oh wait, first we got another item in the group. That's just here. And yeah, I will accept all the supers this game will give me. I now have enough supers to kill Ridley. I don't think I have enough supers to actually get through Mother Brain yet, though. Are my little refill logs. Get over here. Alright, Torizo, what do you have for me? Supers. Eh, you know what? Whatever. That's right. Wake up. Come on. Come on. Hi. Alright, one. Two. Okay, same number as Super Misses. Now, I'm sure if I had more beams, Torizo would go down significantly faster. We now actually go through the gauntlet full proper, since we have all of... Uh, we have significantly more health, and we have bombs. Oh, boo. Just barely missed it. Wrong way, Samus. Actually, you know what? Just to be safe. A uh, save is always good. Now, like in all the randomizers, uh, the items are not mat or not the normal maximums. It can be anything. Like I could, those two missile packs that I got could be the only two missile packs I see the entire game. It, and also, I could very likely end up with like 20 some energy tanks, which didn't really happen to quite a bit. Um, I could also end up with like 80 some power bombs, which also happens with a disturbing amount of frequency. Alright, 
Alright, I will accept an energy tank. Significantly less damage thanks to the Baria suit. Still taking damage though because I can't spin jump worth crap. What is my reward for completing the gauntlet this time? You get energy tank and super missiles. Alright. At least one of those things is useful. Down to Brinstar we go. Now I could go to um, I could go to the wrecked ship at this point. Since I have speed booster, I can use it to get across the lake. Um, but I'd rather take the areas in order, just because. Though I won't be killing Craig right away. Almost fell down to the Dashora pit. Still don't have wave beams, so I can't get that out of there. So, hmm, do we go up to power bombs or down? Uh, let's go down. Now I could go after X-ray scope right now, um, but that's require that's going to require taking a lot of damage and bomb jumping, which I don't really feel like doing right now. So let's instead go after spacer. That's the one disadvantage to screw attack, is that you break bomb blocks, whether you want to or not. Alright, Spazer, what you got for me? Eh. 
It's not a reserve tank. So down into Norfair we go. Let's go check out Ice Beam and High Jump. So first we'll go down to High Jump. I don't know if that's actually going to catch... Oh, caught the note. Cool. Another power bomb. Yay. Okay, starting to get a little too many power bombs. Please give me relevant upgrades now. If I was smart, I would charge a shine spark and just zip right across there, but I'm not. Come on. Alright, Ice Beam, what you got for me? More supers. Okay. Actually, I don't even really need Ice Beam anymore to beat the game. Um, Metroids will also die to three power bombs. It's just really slow and will cause you to take a crap ton of damage from you. Alright, let's go see what Kruckmeyer has. That's normally a missile, too. Not a very random game. However, because we have charge and plasma, we can do something really fun. And Karkmar's dead. Come on, keep going. Really? Uh just have a power bomb for me. Alright, Krokmeyer. Actually, I kinda hope he has X-ray. Because he has X-ray, that means I can one-shot Freya. 
I don't care that you're melting. That was a bad idea. Safe here, let's finish refilling at least. Oh, yeah, these guys drop power bombs really rarely. Okay, so let's go ahead and save here. Uh, I'm gonna take another quick break. Uh, when I come back, we will continue our exploration and searching for more items. See you guys in a little bit.